Now, guys, first of all, you know, I've never understood people on YouTube, YouTube channels who talk like, Welcome guys, welcome back to YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video. Because no one talks like that in real life. It's just, it's like, that's not how my, no one's that excited. No one's life is that great. All right. I'm just having a normal day. So I'm just going to talk normally. Welcome back to Footballer XP. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. Didn't you guys miss me? No? Okay, let's... First thing you guys need to remember when taking shots. Your fate is already decided before you kick the ball. Everything that you do before you kick the ball leads up to the final result that you're going to have after you've already kicked the ball. So there's no point putting in so much effort into your kick after you kick the ball. It seems so basic, it seems so obvious, but you'll be surprised how many people, they kick the ball and then they don't do much before they kick the ball and then after they kick the ball, that's when they try to exert energy. But look, once, you, once the ball, once your foot touches that ball, your fate is decided. There's nothing you can do. So make sure that everything you do before you kick the ball is on point. Because if everything you do before you kick the ball is on point, then your kick is going to be on point as well. Second thing is, your follow through is really important. When you kick the ball, follow through with your kicking foot so you can guide, continuously guide the direction of the ball. Right, because if you kick and then you let the ball do its own thing, it's not gonna, you have less control over where it's going to go. So you wanna maximize your control over the direction of the ball using your follow through. Now height, how do you keep the ball down? Tilt your upper body over the ball slightly. That will help keep the ball down. If you tilt backwards, you're gonna scoop the ball up. We don't want that. You wanna keep the ball as low as possible. Right, so make sure to slightly tilt forward. Guys, when you kick a football or soccer ball, right? You don't have to use your entire life savings of energy just to get the ball to go into the net. Like, look at the size of this thing, man. I mean, come on, man. It's a ball. You don't have to, look, let me show you something. Like, look at this, right? Look at that, that was actually a beautiful goal. I'm not even gonna deny it. Like, I didn't use, I didn't use any energy for that shot. And if the keeper was standing in the middle of the goals, he wouldn't have saved that. It's all about technique, man. You gotta get your technique right. You get your technique right, then you get your shots right. That's, that's just the way it goes. Make the ball work for you. Don't work for the ball. Firstly, always remember that your body will face the direction your non-kicking foot is facing. Just automatically, that's gonna happen. Wherever you plant your non-kicking foot, the direction it's facing, your body's gonna follow. Always remember that.